Hello everyone, it's Michael Finling from Embarcadero Technologies. It's August 25th, 2009, and today we are officially announcing the general availability of Embarcadero Rad Studio 2010, which incorporates new versions of Delphi C++ Builder and Delphi Prism. Today, Michael Swindell, VP of Products and Strategy for Embarcadero Technologies, talks with VP of Marketing Jan Laban. The two discuss the significance of the release of Rad Studio 2010 for Embarcadero customers and the industry as a whole, and what the future holds for this award-winning suite of IDEs acquired from Borland in 2009. Hello, I'm Jan LeBlanc with Embarcadero Technologies. I'm sitting with Michael Swindell, VP of Product and Technical Strategy at Embarcadero. I was hoping you could tell us a little bit more about the significance of this announcement that Embarcadero is making today. Sure, Jan. Um, today we're seeing, uh, you know, a flood of uh, natural input hardware coming to market. Uh, mainly today we're seeing a lot of touch-based devices, netbooks, uh, uh, mid, mid devices, touch pads, kiosks, but just a lot of hardware coming out in the second half of 2009 and in 2010. And uh, there's really a lack of tools and, and applications for them, and this release uh, addresses that. It, it, makes it very easy for developers to uh, bring applications and touch enable applications for these platforms. I think the other thing that we're seeing is, you know, we're right on the on the, the cusp of Windows 7 coming to market, and when, when Windows 7 is out there, uh, there's a lot of new technologies and exciting things there, and there will also be uh, a lot of uh, other versions of Windows um, in, uh, in uh, most uh, companies' environments, uh, Windows XP, Vista, 2000, so it's going to be a lot of different technologies, and we're making it easy for developers to use all the new stuff in, in Windows 7, but also support all of the old uh, versions of Windows at the same time. So, so the, the, the touch and gesture input features in the uh, Delphi 2010 release are not specific to the Windows 7. Right. So. Right. In fact, there's a lot of features in there that are enhanced when you're running on Windows 7, but we'll still backfill and, and run them uh, and support them fine on uh, the older versions of Windows as well. So, so in addition to, to the touch capabilities that are in the new release, what, are there any other specific capabilities that are really important for the industry? Well, I think one of the things we're seeing is uh, with you know, social networks, Facebook, Twitter, and a lot of others, um, interest in bringing a lot of that social content into applications and connecting to them. And we've added a lot of support now in our protocols for data snap support for uh, uh, supporting uh, JSON and, and RESTful web services uh, that will help you connect to a wide variety of different types of so, um, services and social platforms. What's the, uh, the, obviously the release has been in the works for some time, and so uh, what was the feedback from customers during the, uh, the beta period? So, well, it's been very exciting. To, uh, developers have been very excited to work with a lot of this new touch hardware um, and uh, support the new Windows, new Windows platform, and we're seeing a lot of interest from uh, new developers coming in from other platforms, uh, particularly ISVs, uh, micro ISVs, uh, interest in uh, the healthcare industry, building applications to, let, um, to work in, in healthcare manufacturing, uh, in, in, other, in, in a few other industries. Yeah. So, uh, changing gears for a moment, uh, it's no secret that the, uh, these tools, the Delphi 2010 line, Red Studio, etc., were um, acquired by Embarcadero last year with its acquisition of Cogear from Borland. Uh, can you comment a little on the, uh, that acquisition and how Embarcadero is leveraging it going forward? Well, Embarcadero is very excited about this release and, and, and very committed to, to uh, Delphi and Sea Builder and Red Studio. Um, it's been a, a great acquisition. Um, it's been very well integrated. The teams have been more, very well integrated. And we've also um, uh, been integrating the technologies. Um, one of the things you'll see in the architect editions of uh, Delphi 2010 and, and C++ Builder 2010, Rad Studio um, architect editions, is an integration of the ER Studio uh, data modeling technologies to bring data modeling and, and uh, data archaeology down into the developer's hands. Uh, it's typically been technologies and features that have only been in, in data architect's hands, and we're getting that down into the developer's hands uh, by integrating that technology. Um, I think w uh, the other things we've been doing from the product side is bringing Delphi, C Builder, Rad Studio, Delphi Prism into the all access toolkit, um, which is uh, about 20, you know, over 20 different uh, Embarcadero uh, tools from data modeling, data, data management, app dev uh, optimization and profiling all into a single uh, developer's toolbox uh, and that's been, you know, been very successful. Okay, so a, a unified offering. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, to market. Yeah. Uh, what about the future? Uh, you can 
talk briefly. What's the future? I know it's a big announcement okay. today, but what's going on with Delphi and, uh, and the RAD tools going forward? Well, certainly this release is the most exciting thing today, um, you know, bringing touch and Windows 7 and a lot of those technologies. But um, I think one of the things that, we'll, that you'll see uh, in the future is a continuation of the natural input theme. So things like, uh, you know, voice and, and uh, vision. Um, it's no secret that we're working on Mac and Linux versions of, of uh, Delphi and C++ Builder, so you'll see those coming out in the future. Also 64-bit versions of all the tooling. Uh, and then beyond that, uh, uh, moving to non-Intel platforms as well. Oh, great. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, thank you uh, for joining us and listening in. We invite you to, uh, if you want to learn more, to uh, visit our website at www.embarcadero.com. Thank you, Michael. Thank you.